Hi guys, welcome back to Just Another Buerta. I'm Just Another Buerta. Um, today I'm going to do a Let's Play video. I'm going to do Titan's Quest Immortal Throne. Uh, it's my favorite video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this well. Uh, the, video is, uh, the game is based around Greek mythology. And the way the game works is you're like a, a normal peasant and you work, your, you, you work yourself through the ranks um, becoming like this um, this man-like god uh, among the people um, there's different types of ways you can go through in, in, in the game um, now Immortal Throne is it is a, a expansion of the original game Titan's Quest it came out in 2006 um, it was uh, uh, it, it was produced by uh, uh, Iron Law Entertainment, and um, it was published by uh, in, in 2007. Um, that's when the game came out, the original game. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into. I'm going to take you uh, right through from the beginning straight to the end, explaining to you guys uh, how the game works. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. First, we need to create a character. The character is gonna be uh, let's call it like a, a SL, like a SA name. Uh, right, Dribble Bomb. It's a uh, another name for. Uh, Gaspor, it's an essay name for it. It's gonna be a man, brown, uh, close, single player, normal, create. Why doesn't it want to create? Sorry. <laughs> um, there's the guy, drill bum. Now he doesn't have any weapons, armor, anything like that. So if we go into the game, start the game. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. The temples, which have stood forever, will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day, the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. Right. So, basically, what the game is all about is you start off as a, as a peasant and um, work yourself up. Um, I'm going to keep the, the, the tutorial tips on um, just so that, I, that they remind me what to do when and I can then try and give if there are shortcuts I can help you with the shortcuts. So first they say talk to the people with the quest character and the general information. Now the quest character is quest you need to finish um, to complete the game or move on in the game and general information is just small stories about Greek mythology that uh, the, the people in the towns and um, yeah, in the towns and in the fields can tell you so we're gonna go exit that one so this is the one guy that's just like general information about the, the game you soldier if you come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here in Elos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields and our supplies are running low. Please, go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Right, so we need to go to the village. Um, There's one of the quests. I must have been saved by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. 
Okay, come back to the quest log. Um, just want to kill these guys before they kill the horse. Okay, quest log. Quest log displays the quest objective and other information. A uh, shortcut to the uh, to the key or the shortcut key is Q. Uh, the main quest guides you through the uh, the central story in the tit in Titan's quest. Side quests are smaller, optional adventures. So let's go to quest log. Quest log. The main main quest is that's that's the 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 the, the uh, yeah it's the main quest through the game. You need to check everything in the in, in the, your main quest to uh, to get through the game side quest we don't have any side quests now um, so we'll get back to that later so um, one thing they didn't uh, tell you in the, the tutorial is that when you press the, the letter Z key on your keyboard um, it throws up all the um, dropped items by the enemy um, god that they they Who equipped it to uh, that they had equipped to, to their body so um, if you press Z you will get all the items they dropped if you press Q or not Q, Q is your quest if you press X you will get only the, the rare items and uh, the more desirable items um, so let's just move on in the game. Um, here's the next town. Kill the people. Of the people, the beastmen. <coughs> Alright. Uh, so they didn't drop anything yet. Um, move on. Normal story, guys. As we go on through the through the, the, the game, I'm going to um, start clicking less and less on the, the main story or the, 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 the general story of the game. I'm going to mostly be doing the... I'm going to do mostly the, 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 the quests uh, information. So, if you guys want me to do more and more of the, the general game, put comments down and I'll go through them and see what I can put in the next video. Okay, the Rebirth Fountain is the fountain, it's like a checkpoint in the game. Uh, if you click on a Rebirth Fountain, if you die, you get reborn at the fountain. That's basically what the Rebirth Fountain is. Um, main quest. Hello, strange. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? If that's true, then please, I beg of you, we need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. Right. Uh, so there's a few people on the bridge that we need to kill first. Uh, and then from there on we can move on. Um, so I played the game um, a few times now and um, I'm not going straight to the, the, the quest I just want to show you guys first there's a trader in the town that you can buy and sell your to us uh, in um, there's one not there isn't one in every town um, but in most of the towns you sometimes you'll you'll find them next to the road um, so yeah you can buy and sell your, your items here sell the, the knife and then here's a current driver um, if you've got uh, rare items or items you want to use uh, maybe further, further in the game you can put it in your current driver 
he's going to be in some of the towns and um, he'll always keep your stuff safe for you so that you don't have to sell them and buy them later. Um, we don't have anything we want to equip now, so I'm just going to go out there and then if you go a bit down, you'll find a, a, a portal. Now the portal is, it's a, a fast traveling because you're going to be walking a lot in the game and if you if your, your bags are full with items you put, picked up, um, the portals will help you get to the towns quicker and get back to the place where you drop the portal. Um, I'll show you just in a moment. Um, so that's the, the, the first three things you do in, in Helios before you go out and uh, fight the, the wizard. So now uh, pick up everything we can. Um, then C. C is what you've got on your character. Um, uh, you've got a first and you've got a second weapon uh, configuration. My first weapon, I like bows, so I'm going to exchange my my axe for a bow and then on the second arrangement I'm going to change between the two the two uh, weapons I've got here. Uh, axe is a lot better than the torch, so I'm going to keep the axe uh, except there. Um, easy way to uh, switch between the two weapon sets uh, W that's gonna be your, your your main finger on your keyboard um, why I said the I like the bow because uh, it's long range long range weapon and um, you can always put like a close range weapon in your uh, your secondary arm, uh, weapon set. Um, for when the, the guys are a bit stronger and you need to fight in clo close range, then you just press W and you're in close range mode. Um, if I can give you guys a tip, uh, don't, do not try and fight the, the boss now. Wait till you level up, it's gonna be a lot easier then to fight them now. So, keep in mind your balls are a lot stronger than the normal beastmen, and that's how you do close range weaponing. Um, now sometimes you don't need to attack the 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 the. the enemies to for them to start attack you um, they'll just randomly come and attack you especially if there's just normal be uh, beasts around like uh, the birds and uh, the boars for example okay potions you get health potions and energy potions in the game um, it's gonna gonna uh, be very very helpful further in the game and um, believe me, you'll need it. Um, another potion. This guy before I go back. Make sure you are in the safe before you take on anything at chests, or otherwise you'll just die quickly, and you'll have to run back to the to the spot where the chests were. Okay, we're approaching the the wizard there. He's gonna be somewhere around here. The small mini map there shows you where the shaman is. Right, so we'll just slowly move on one by one. Um, it's also why well, I also like the the, the bow. Can't carry anymore. Right. So what I showed you guys later uh, or earlier, um, the portals. You'll get a small portal stone at the bottom of your screen. Quickie key L, you'll just throw a portal down, click on the portal, and then 
if you've got another portal in one of the towns close, you'll find them on the right hand side of your portal map. Click on it and then you'll teleport from where your portal is to sorry, to the town's portal. Um, it's the easiest way to travel. So what suits your fancy? So we just want to empty out our what we've got here now. There's a, a bow that's stronger than mine, so I'm going to put that one and then sell that one. Um, for the first, I think, two or three levels, you want, um, I suggest you don't buy anything from the, the, the traders, because they are expensive. You get a lot better, um, a lot better uh, weapons and armor on the road, so... I would suggest that you guys don't, only if there's something that you guys really, really do want from the trader. For instance, um, most of the, the spells, if you go into a uh, spellcaster, um, you buy your spells there. Uh, or other items you need for your spells. Okay, just want to get away from the other people, other beastmen. So I can take on the shaman on my own. Okay, your port, uh, my health potion is on the number 9 quick slot. Uh, so I'm going to use one of my health potions now. Uh, the lights that just went up on my, above my head means I've leveled up and uh, now I can go to the character window C to level up uh, my attributes um, and there is another uh, your skills window that would be S there you, you choose your different uh, mastery you go into for me the first one I'm gonna go into I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna go with warfare uh, Warfare is the easiest one to, to start with, so uh, for newcomers I would suggest go for Warfare and then later on you get another mastery and then you can try out other skills. Um, so I'm going to go with Warfare first, uh, level up, then you get three attributes at first, which you can level up. Um, weapons training, battle rage and onslaughts. Battle rage I think is the best one at, no, no, no. Weapon training. I'm gonna go with weapon, weapon training first. A attack speed's gonna be crucial when attacking uh, other people. That is gonna make the, the other guy die faster. It's just how I feel. Uh, see it. So um, when you upgrade your 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 attack speed, it goes for both of the. Um, both your, your weapon sets uh, doesn't just uh, start with one and then uh, later on go to the uh, this next one. It goes with both sets. Um, they also said that your uh, character um, we can upgrade here as well. Um, which one is this? 14, 13. Equip that one there. And uh, war face is going to be strength and Let's do strength first. First two is going to strength. Alright. So let's see. There's a few more guys here. Alright. Um for the first yeah, the first quest you, you pick up all the items you can. It's just gonna be easier and you'll get much more money much faster. Start here. Later on through the game, um, you're gonna change your, your pickup key from Z to Q or not Q uh, X and that's gonna make you only pick up the rare items and the items that you are uh, worth a, a lot more. Then Your inventory is the, the normal items. 
Um, auto sort makes that you can, uh, it sorts out your, your bag so that you can pick up more stuff. Um, I'm going to pick up one more thing and the other things I'm not going to worry about because it's, it's small cash. So, weapon sport or uh, portal stone, back to Helios, sell everything. As soon as you're done with uh, one of the, 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 the quests, you have to return to the guy that gave you the quest. Um, they'll give you your experience you gained uh, for the quest and most of the time you get paid for the quest. Your victory today is great, but I feel there will be more monsters tomorrow. At least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all. Take this gold. I know it's not much. Please, seek out the Spartan general, Leonidas. Petition him on my behalf. Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us, and quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Right. So, the next time we're going to go to is Sparta. I don't think I'm going to go to Sparta at, in this video, um, because it takes a lot longer. To move between the towns. Uh, my next video probably would go from Helios to Sparta. So everything and yeah, let's see. Nothing there I want. Okay, they auto equipped me with wizard boots. I'm not gonna use them just for armor at the moment. This one I can't fit now. Right. Um, so yeah, that's the the first of uh, a series I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go um, in this series. I'm gonna go only do the 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 main quest. I'm not gonna do side quests if the the, the videos are in huge. Uh, if, if you guys like the videos a lot, then Maybe later on I'll go back and do the side quests and everything. But now, for now, the first series I'm going to do only main quest. Um, and I think I'm going to leave this video here. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot more to gun and it's going to get harder and it's going gonna, it's gonna to become very intricate as we go on through the game. Um, so guys, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe, uh, please press a like, uh, it helps a lot, uh, and yeah, see you guys in the next video, cheers.